So guys, welcome back to a new episode of the Newcastle Grand Mode. And as you can see here, we have some transfer offer accepted. We have Jordan Larson. He has accepted. He's gonna sign for Newcastle. A legend son's return. A legend son uh, signs for us here. Jordan Larson, Henrik Larson's son, signs for Newcastle. Welcome, Jordan. And as a uh, he was really cheap as well. And now we have uh, some other stuff here that we need to uh, go on and take on here now. Alexander Mitwick, 28 million. I'm gonna accept this because I don't think with his bad form, like if we sold him when he was uh, in the championship with us, we got an offer for like 38 million or something. And uh, as of right now, he's not he's not gonna he's not gonna go any higher. So we're gonna sell him. We're gonna get three million over his value. So we're gonna sell Alexander Metric. It's you. You've been great in the championship, but in the Premier League, you don't. You don't stand a chance. So we are selling him on for 28 million, which means we can bring in Mario Balotelli as our starting striker, and we also have uh, two other strikers in this team in this team as well now, with Erno Valencia coming back from his injury pretty soon. And we have also uh, Balotelli if we sign him. But as you can see here, West Ham is the first game of this game, of this game, of this episode and away game. Then we're going to simulate the game against Yellingham in the Emirates FA Cup replay. And then we have a game against Arsenal. And then we have another game that we're going to simulate the semi finals of the EF Cup again against Leighton Orient. And then we're going to end off the episode with a game against Aston Villa. So. As you can see, we have uh, games coming up pretty close to each other, which is not ideal with this team, because this team needs some uh, uh, need need a rest pretty much. And uh, Shelby has a red card, so he's not going to be able to play. We're going to play Harris instead. We're going to have Perea on the pitch for this game. But Watson has been great, so I'm going to keep this team as it is right now instead for Lazardo. Because he's injured, so he can't play. We're gonna have uh, Gibson playing instead, and uh, Lalana. Let's let's uh, let's uh, save Lalana. Play uh, Ben Rama instead. So this is the team for the game against West Ham. Let's see if we can get three points here. If we get three points against West Ham, we will uh, go up on the same points as them. And I don't know what what goal difference they have. They have a goal difference on seven. We have a goal difference on nine plus. So if we win against them here, we will pass them. And if uh, Chelsea drop points as well, we will pass them as well. But we will climb at least one place in the table if we get a win here. Let's see if we can get a win against uh, West Ham. Yeah, callback. Callback, cross this. Had that Murphy. Yes, he goes in. It's Murphy assisted by Yak Callback. 1 0 Newcastle after 81 minutes. After 81 minutes. After 81 minutes. Ah, oh, what a goal. In the 81st minute. What a goal. Murphy with a power header there. That's why he's such a strong striker. Murphy with a goal. Assisted by probably the best player on the pitch, Yak Callback. Great little attempt there on a, on a second goal for us. But we get the win. We get the 1-0 win. And we are now at least top three in the table. Uh, it matters where where uh, Chelsea ended up. But uh, we get a win. Six shots, five on target. West Ham had one shot, zero on target. They won possession. We won the game. We deserve that win. Yeah, Colbeck surely has the man of match. Yes, he has with eight point with an eight point four. Murphy with a goal, assisted by Yak Colbeck, and look at the tackles he's won. What? That doesn't even make sense. He he didn't he made apparently he made five tackles and only one uh, won one of them. But in my opinion, he did a bit more. He made fourteen passes as well, eleven completed. He even had one shot on target. He was everywhere. He played so good. Jack Kolbeck, well-deserved man of the match. And Newcastle, well-deserved three points away from home against West Ham. Alright, we are now sold a player. 23 million we got for Alexander Mitrovic. He's out of this team right now. 
And I'm pretty happy about that. Suspension is over for Johnny O'Shelby as well. And now we can bring in Mario Balotelli. A player that I wanted to sign for so many, for such a long time. And now we're going to actually do it. He wants only 60 a week. Even though it's Balotelli. That's... Like, I thought he wanted like 120 or something. But we're going to sign him up. He's going to be a crucial first team player. Mario Balotelli, please sign this contract and come to Newcastle. Because I have problem with the, the starting 11 here when it comes to strikers. I have Murphy providing some goals. Uh, but still, I need a big striker that I can rely on every single time. Don't want to sign. He doesn't want to sign. I'm going to give him uh, 80, 82 a week. I'm going to give him 10% uh, uh, goal uh, bonus on a two-year deal. Crucial first team player. No, let's three years deal. Crucial first team player. Please, Balotelli, don't do this. He's a top player at Nice. I know that. But you're going to play in the Premier League again. You're going to be a star player in the Premier League again. I want to move in the transfer window. All right, I'm going to put you up, Dion. Because I don't, I don't see you staying at the team and getting any playing time, anyway. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna sell De Jong. I mean, I just need to find him. Where is De Jong? I can't find De Jong. Where the hell is De Jong? Am I blind? There is De Jong. He's a cam, so we're gonna add him to the transfer list. Hopefully, he will uh, sell. Cause. Like, like I said, he's not getting any playing time. He's actually going to get some playing time in this game, I think. Alright, we have a game coming up against uh, Gillingham. Now we uh, we got an offer right away from CM De Jong. 6 million to Aston Villa. Uh, at least give me his value. Give me like 7.5 seven, seven for uh, De Jong. Then you can have him. So I, don't, I don't see him playing anything in this in this team anymore anyway. He, he, I, I gave, him, I've given him some playing time, but he's still not playing like I want him to. And I have Adam Lalana and CM De Jong playing, so we are not going to keep him. We're going to uh, have to switch up the lineup here a bit. Uh, I want Adam Lalana playing this game. Harry's callback, yes. Watson, mm, yeah. Let's keep Watson. Let's keep Yedlin Clark and Bemba, Gibson, Pereira. is not gonna start this one Aaron's is gonna start this one so that's the team they're pretty tired but they're gonna have to play this game I think we will come out with a win anyway oh no 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 we are not playing Gailey we are playing Larson Jordan Larson is gonna play here he's gonna make his debut we're gonna save either Murphy or Gailey for the game against uh, Arsenal but this game the second leg round of three replay because we drew the first one they got a goal in the 80th, 80th minute, and it ended 1-1. So this is the team, uh, Woodman, Yedlin, Clark, Mbemba, Gibson, Callback, Harris, Watson, Aarons, Lalana, and Larson. Larson making his debut. Hopefully he can pick up a goal here against Yellingham. I want to give him a debut against like a weaker squad, so he can get the comf uh, his uh, like uh, stamina and all that back. Like be a big player. Ah, uh, come on. Please, 40 minutes in, not a single goal. It's Gillingham, and we are uh, actually a top team in the Premier League right now. We should at least get a goal here. Benrahma and Salvia comes on. Gibson scores, 74th minute. That's really big for us. Come on now. And that's the final whistle. That's the final whistle. We are through in the Emirates FA Cup. Gibson with the only goal. No goals for Larson. Too bad. I really wanted him to score in his debut, but he didn't. And... Uh, we are at, still we are going through in the Emirates FA Cup. All right, a transfer offer for Matt Sells. Don't really care about Matt Sells. Uh, selling, he's gonna stay. We actually got 19 million or 19 million for him, but he's gonna stay. He's my starting uh, goalkeeper. Matt Sells is staying. CM De Jong, 6.5 to uh, Newcastle. Yeah, let's just accept that and sell him on, cause. I don't, I don't care about him. And uh, what else do we get here? See him the young decision. We have taken the decision to say it is not in the best interest of the key of the club to keep here keep him here any longer. No, I'm. Uh, I'm actually. 
agreeing with that because I'm, I'm recently sold them. We got some prize money as well, 85,000. Ed Harris is uh, thankful for the chances he has given in this club, which is great. Contract accepted, yes, Mario Balotelli accepts the contract. Holy shit, Balotelli to Newcastle, yes, a new signing, a new big number number nine here. Ah, oh, this is gonna be big, and we sold uh, De Jong as well for the upcoming game. Yes, Las Isles, you can play this one. Holy shit. On the pancake, we get we get a big striker in Mario Balotelli here. Uh, Lascelles wanted some playing time. I'm gonna give him some playing time. I'm gonna give uh, uh, Hendley some playing time as well. I'm gonna give Shelby playing time, but Harris is not gonna give any playing time. Colbeck is giving playing time. Perea is gonna give be playing. Lalana has been playing. Watson is gonna be on the bench. Hoiberg should we? Let's start him over, over callback for this game. Sells is in. Gibson is out. Lazar is still injured, so let's play. Now oh, let's play Lazar in this game anyway. Uh, I want to have Larson on the bench actually, instead for uh, Murphy. So this is the team we're gonna play against Arsenal with. We have Mario, but Mario Bellotelli up top making his debut. We have Adam Lalana, Matheus Pereira. Uh, Pierre Emil Hoiberg, Jon Jo Shelby, Eduardo Salvio, Yedlin Lascelles, Henley Lazar, and Cells in goal. So let's see if we can get three points against uh, Arsenal. If we get three points here, we will climb up uh, past them as well, I think. Uh, no, we do not climb past them, but we will uh, catch up three points as well. Or uh, anyway, and be uh, two points behind them. So let's jump into the game against Arsenal. We are at home. We beat them last time away from home. 2-0 after a goalkeeper error by Petr Cech, but this time we have Mario Balotelli. Oh no! 1-0 Arsenal right away. Holy shit, after 8 minutes Arsenal go 1-0 up and it's Santi Casola with the goal. That was not the start I wanted. Arsenal going 1-0 up after 8 minutes. No, 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 no. Wow. From outside the box. It's Santa Casola again. Really? That went in. Oh, what a banger from Santa Casola. 2 0 after 33 minutes. Santa Casola with one of the best strikes I've ever seen him do. Like, what the hell even was that? Santa Casola is having, having the game of his life here. I don't think we can come back from this. Balotelli gets his first shot off, but it's deflected. But still, he's, he's showing up. He's showing where he is, though. Head this in. Balo. Oh, Balotelli on the score there again. He's had two great chances. That ball was in. That ball was in. Oh, come on. 2 0 Arsenal. We get another loss here. This is not going good. Uh, another loss. Five shots, five on target by us. We lost possession by a lot. Balotelli got uh, a 7.2. Pretty decent. He actually got the highest rating in this team. Uh, but still, 2-0. A 2-0 loss away from home. Or at home. Is not a good result. Even though it was against Arsenal. Alright, the second leg here in the Emirates, no, in uh, the EFL Cup, late on Orient, we won the first game 2-1 uh, at home, which means they have an away goal, and uh, if we get one away goal here, we are pretty much settled to going through, and we're going to simulate this game against Leighton with the same team we, that we put up against the... Uh, Arsenal, so hopefully get a win here. Hopefully Balotelli can score a goal. If we get a loss with this team, something is wrong. Leighton Orient, 20 minutes in, nothing has happened. Not even a card. Nothing has happened after 30, 40 minutes now. What the hell? Come on. Give me a goal. At least one goal. No goal. Larson replaces Balotelli. Kelly get an injury for Leighton. What is this? What is this? Are you, are you for are you for real? 
How can we not get a goal with this team? We are out of the EFL Cup against fucking Leighton. No, 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 no. I, I can't. I can't. How, how can we go out against Leighton of all teams? Against Leighton. All because they got an away goal. Ah, oh, Balotelli, Perea, Lalana. So many good players, not a single player could have scored. Like, what the hell? Not a single good player scored there. Ah, oh, this is not good. And we're gonna have a game here now against the. Uh, who are they? It's Leicester, though. Ah, oh, that's not gonna be. That's gonna be tough. Leicester in the round of four of the FA Cup. I don't know if I'm gonna play this one. I don't know how many games have I played this episode, uh, actually. I played against West Ham, I played against the Arsenal. Yeah, let's play against Leicester then. Let's play against Leicester. Leicester is gonna be the final game of this episode. But I'm gonna have to do it with a different team, because as, as you can see here, they are tired. Jordan Larson is starting, Watson is starting. Lalana is uh, gonna start this one. Shelby, Hoiberg, Henley is not starting. We're gonna have Mbemba and Clark playing this one. Clark in, Mbemba in, and uh, Salvio Alf out. Uh, Harris on the bench. Gibson playing instead for Lazar. Uh, Gam is playing instead for Yedlin. Uh, should we have anyone else here as well? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have Woodman in goal for this game as well. Perea's playing. Hoybjerg, Lalana, Larson. I wanna see Larson in in a real game now against a bigger team. Uh, home game against Leicester City, round four of the Emirates FA Cup. Let's get a win here. Let's go through in the FA Cup at least. Bemba is gonna strike this. Holy shit, what a shot by Mbemba. Sealer with a great save. Another corner. Perea with a cross, gets cleared, and it's another corner for us now. This is getting ridiculous, this is like our sixth corner, this is uh, the Lana post. Nothing is working out. Eight shots. We've had eight shots. No, 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 Of course, of course, because they really deserve that, right? What the hell? Slimani with a goal, 1-0 Leicester City, and it looks like we're gonna go out here as well. Oh, it's a loss, and we are out of the cup. We're out of the Emirates FA Cup. But look at the stats. Did we deserve to go out? No. 12 shots, 6 on target, 55 possession. They had 3 shots, 0 on target, and we went out. They won. How did they even win that? Uh, how many chances or how many shots on target did we have? Watson had two. Alana had two. Uh, we are out of the Emirates FA Cup. We are out of the EFL Cup. We are out of both oh, both cup. The only the only cup we have left is uh, the Euro League. All right, guys, we're gonna end this episode here. We have played four games this episode, and we picked up like three losses, I think. No, we actually played five games. Yeah, we played five games. Uh, we picked up, uh, let's see here, we picked up a win against West Ham, we picked up a win against Gillingham, we picked up a loss against Arsenal, a loss against Leighton, and a loss against Leicester. So, three losses, two wins in this episode, one from the league, and one loss from the league. We are out of both uh, the EFL and the Emirates FA Cup, which is not good. And uh, if you take a look at uh, the table, we have dropped some points. We are now currently on 5th uh, place with uh, 35 points in 22 games. Only 2 points away from 3rd uh, place, the uh, team Chelsea. But if we if we are gonna have any chance of doing that, we need to start scoring goals. And as you can see here, there are a lot of players, or a lot of teams that are lacking in the goal scoring department. I don't think we even have a player here. Yeah, we have. We have Perea on five goals on 19th place. Other than that, we don't have a single one. But after 22 games 
Andy Carroll is first with only eight goals. That is not that impressive. But yeah, this is gonna end this episode. Let's get this video to four likes. And if you have watched till the end, thank you for watching. And uh, if you're new to my channel as well, remember to hit that subscribe button. I upload uh, FIFA content daily, so if you want FIFA content daily, then hit that subscribe button. I currently have three series going on. I have my Rage to Glory, which is uh, an Ultimate Team series that I do, and then I have uh, the Newcastle Career Mode that you're probably watching now, if you know that I'm saying this. And I have uh, the Journey. So yeah, if you are new, remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later with another video.